Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of hepatocellular carcinoma or liver carcinoma. And on the right, this is the tumor. And on the left, this is the benign non-neoplastic liver. The outline of the tumor is roughly here following my pointer to this area. Let's have a very quick recap of normal liver parenchyma. These are some big blood vessels as well as a large bile duct here. So in this benign area, we can see that there is actually a lot of hemorrhage and congestion, and this is probably secondary to surgical manipulation. This is a central vein, and we can see that there are these hepatocytes that are arranged in slender trabeculae usually around one cell thick, at most perhaps two cells thick. The hepatocytes are quite polygonal in shape. They have rounded nuclei, which are fairly uniform, very smooth nuclear membranes and granular cytoplasm. And they have quite abundant cytoplasm, so the NC ratios are fairly low. Here we can appreciate a portal tract where there is the portal vein, the artery, and small bile ducts. And this we will see within non-neoplastic liver, whereas we will not find portal tracks in liver cancer or liver tumors. So let's move over to the area of the tumor. And here is where the tumor starts. In this area, there is a fibrous capsule that separates the tumor from the non-neoplastic liver. However, if we were to follow this tumor downwards, we can see that the tumor now is no longer delineated from the normal liver by a capsule. And over here, this is tumor, this is all tumor, this is normal liver, and there is no capsule here. So some HCCs may actually have a partial fibrous capsule. Let's look at the architecture of the tumor. And if you were to compare this with the benign liver, we can still see that there is a trabecular architecture. One of the main differences is that the trabeculae in HCC are broader, and so you can see that in many areas they are two cells thick, and sometimes they are more than two cells thick, and this is a feature that is very suspicious for malignancy. The other abnormal architectural feature is seen here, and here, and here in these gland-like structures. We call these SNI or pseudo SNI. They appear to be glandular, however, they are not true glands, and this is very often seen in hepatocellular carcinoma. So we have broader trabeculae, we have these escena or pseudo escena structures. These are both abnormal architectural features. Let's now compare the cytomorphology or the high magnification appearances of malignant hepatocytes with benign hepatocytes. You'll notice that among the malignant hepatocytes, the NC ratios are higher. In other words, the cells have less cytoplasm, whereas in the benign hepatocytes, the cells have low NC ratios and abundant cytoplasm. Also, nucleoli are more prominent in the malignant hepatocytes as compared to the benign hepatocytes. This happens to be a well-differentiated or a low-grade tumour, but in higher-grade tumours, we will be able to see more pleomorphism, larger nuclei, and more irregularity of the nuclear membranes in the malignant cells. Now let's have a quick look at the gross appearance of one example. And this is a virtual pathology specimen taken from our web resource, PathWeb. This is an example of hepatocellular carcinoma arising in the background of cirrhosis. This is a common dual pathology. We can see that actually majority of HCCs do arise from a cirrhotic liver. And if I were to magnify this, we can see that the tumor is quite lobulated. It is actually fairly well circumscribed in some areas, but in other areas it is not so well defined. It is tan and fleshy. And we can also see that this liver is clearly very nodular, especially appreciated on the capsular surface. Hence, this is a cirrhotic liver. And if you scroll down, you will also be able to see a summary of the microscopic features that we are discussing in this short video. 
If you would like full access to our online virtual pathology museum with more than 700 virtual specimens, you simply need to register for PathWeb. Registration is free and you can find the link in the video description. In summary, this is an example of well-differentiated hepatocellular carcinoma where the tumour is forming broader trabeculae, essena or pseudo -essena structures, and the malignant hepatocytes still do resemble the benign hepatocytes. However, they have higher NC ratios and more prominent nucleoli. This particular case does not have a background of cirrhosis. However, majority of HCCs do arise in a background of cirrhosis, which can be from any cause, for example, hepatitis B infection. Thank you.